Hello everyone. Today, I have a real bombshell for you. Nothing less. That's a simply how big deal this is. What I'm talking about? About the FSR3 and its open source code that has been released just a few days ago. And what many of us expected sooner or later has arrived. A mod for the FSR3 that will also enable it on the older NVIDIA cards in games that already have a support for DLSS3. And I will show you right now how to get it work. So, let's start. When I load the game as it is, I don't even have the option to enable frame generation at all. It's just not there. Even when I search, it's simply hidden. To get it to work, you have to use this mod DLSSG to FSR3 from Nukem 9. There are other mods, some of them paid, that do the same thing. But this one seems to be trusted by community and it's open source, which I generally prefer. Know that you will find all related links below in the description. Now, normally you would come here to releases and would download one right here on the GitHub. But as you can see, the author has moved its builds to Nexus mods, so that's where we have to go. You will have to create an account if you don't have any yet, but it's free, so just go ahead and create one. As you see, an NVIDIA RTX graphics card is required to use this mod as it uses the pipeline with RTX Core in mind. I'm already logged in, so I will just come here to Files and I'll download the main zip. If you use DLSS Tweaks software, feel free to use that one, but I'll go with the default option. Now, when downloaded, simply extract the files and first double-click the Disable NVIDIA Signature Checks registry file. This will add an entry to your registry. You could do it manually, but this is just quicker and less prone to error. If you would want to disable this mod in the future, just click on the Restore NVIDIA Signature Checks and remove copied files. To proceed, you will need admin rights. Just click Yes and then OK. After that, copy-paste these two DLL files to the game's installed folder. To make sure it's the right one, you should see these DLSS files. And that's it. Well, almost. In order to get it work, you have to have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling enabled. On Windows 10, go to Graphic Settings inside the Display section and enable the function on the top. As it states, you have to restart the computer. If you have Windows 11, it's similar. Go to Settings and then System, Display, Graphics, change default graphics settings and again enable the function on the top. And now go to Restart your computer. And we are back at the game after the restart. Now you can see right away that I now have the doggle for frame generation visible. That's a good start for sure. To test it, let's head to New York, Manhattan, as that is surely one of the most demanding places in the title. I start without the FSR3 enabled and let's see. Also a note, I myself have an RTX 3070 with Ryzen 5600X. So pretty much a mid-range setup. I play an almost 4K 38-inch ultrawide monitor and I have a mix of medium to high settings here at MSFS. And as you can see, I'm getting close to 60 frames now. And I'm still quite high. Let's try with frame generation on. 100. 110. On average. How cool is that? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's almost, that's pretty much double. For sure, the highest numbers I've seen so far in MSFS on my graphics card. Let's try to switch back again.
and we are now back to between 40 and 50 now and it seems quite stable between these two numbers um, I mean yeah it's not bad but obviously compared to 110 um, that's a totally different story let's switch it back on <laughs> simply amazing yeah this is something very easy to get used to and uh yeah I'm, I'm kind of speechless on RDX 3070 and MSFS in Manhattan like this is such a big deal to me the main reason to buy a 4000 series Nvidia card for pure gaming is now gone Especially if you, like me, have a 30 series card. Now, to be fair, you can spot the glitches on the HUD indicators. Uh, those don't handle it well, maybe because they are generated in game with lower rate. But still, it's a small price to pay for the smoothness of overall game. And keep in mind, this is out only for a day or two and has been officially tested by the author himself only on Cyberpunk 2077 and The Witcher 3. So just wait until bugs get fixed or FSR 3 will get official support in these games and uh, yeah it will be really a big deal for everyone who has 20 or 30 series RDX graphics cards. I mean technically it can run even on older cards but obviously there uh, there is a question about overall performance so we have to see but for sure me personally I'm super excited and I can't wait to try the other games uh, which supports already frame generation so there you have it let me know if you're as excited as I am and if it works for you as well like subscribe until next time fly safe